This is a new series of English stories. I hope you like them. It was the end of summer days. Mira and her dad, Ala, were in Hamra, a street in Beirut, Lebanon. They were having ice cream from a restaurant named Barbar. I had ice cream in the last story. Am I going to have Buza ice cream in all of your stories? <laughs> we said it's the end of summer, so I doubt it. They walked down the street and passed by an old building. It was called the Piccadilly building. I used to work here before you were born. Why is there a big look in that rusty gate? Mira was pointing at an old gate next to the main building entrance. It seemed no one had stepped foot inside for years. This used to be a theater in the 1960s and 70s. It hosted concerts, musicals and plays. Unfortunately, it was closed in the 80s after the Civil War. Can we have a peek inside? Before Ala could reply to Mira and tell her that they cannot, because the gate is locked and the space was abandoned, Mira had already touched the lock on the old gate, and it just fell off to the ground. The gate opened wide, and yellow light started flickering inside. It looks open to me. She stepped in. And Ala followed, a man with long hair and a moustache, wearing a tight chemise, tucked in tight pants that are baggy from the bottom, saluted them and said, Ahla wa sahla, tfaddalu. Welcome, come in. He gave them two tickets that dated back to 1970 and cost around five liras. Just five liras? هيدا لما كانت الليرة تحكي. But the lira doesn't have a mouth to speak. كيف كانت تحكي؟ It's not literal talking. It means that the lira had more value than now. يعني يعني كان عندها م... كانت الليرة uh, ب 5 ليرات we could buy whatever we want. مش whatever we want, but you know, we could buy much, much, much more than we can buy with uh, with our liras today. I'm not a lira كتير. No. The ticketing man held a flashlight and walked them to their seats. The ticket didn't have any seat number, and there was no need for any, for the theater hall was empty. Mira and Ala sat in the center of the theater, in complete darkness. Moments after, light was projected from behind them and a black and white video of a train showed on a white screen hanging at the back of the stage. Where is that? That's in Lebanon. I haven't seen a train in Lebanon. Well, the train stopped working when the war started. A loud bang startled Mira, followed by a white flash that blinded her for a second. When she opened her eyes, it was not dark anymore. But she also wasn't in the theater hall. She and Ala were now inside the train. And an old man with some sort of formal uniform, with a bow tie, with a bow tie and a cap, greeted them and asked for their tickets. How did we get here? I don't know. The landscape from the window didn't look like Lebanon at all. There were lots of trees and greenery and barely any houses. Mira was loving the scenery. When the train suddenly whistled loudly and hit the brakes abruptly, she almost hit her head on the front seat and the loud squeals of the train wheels grinding on the tracks were unbearable to her ears. It was so loud. 
Alaa called the train conductor and asked, What's happening? There's a car blocking the railway. Alaa and Mira got off the train and saw a very old car with its hood open and a young lady was standing right beside it. How can we help? The woman started singing. Daddy, daddy, isn't that Fairuz? I think so. Ala and Mira helped the young lady push her car off the railway. Thank you, the lady said. What we do? The train took off, leaving Mira and Ala behind. I could have given you a ride, but I'm afraid my car is still broken. Sorry. Mira started crying, panicking and wondering how she can go back home. Don't worry. How about you rest a bit? Everything will be fine. The lady told Mira. Ala helped Mira to lie down into the back seat of the young lady's car. While the lady started singing her famous lullaby. Mira gave in to the beautiful voice of the singing lady and fell asleep. When she woke up later, she noticed she was in her bed next to Sky. Her teddy puppy from her favorite TV show. Mira smiled and went back to sleep. Tutti tutti tutti. Khulset lahat tutti.